So I'm going to be talking about vinegar. Vinegar is an acidic liquid produced through the process of ver fermentation. Vinegar is used in cooking not only for its flavors but also its chemical properties. It can be made from a variety of ingredients, all leading to unique flavors and qualities. The chemical formula for vinegar is CH3COOH. It has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Acidic acids is made up of two carbon atoms, four hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. Other chemical formulas used for acidic acid are CH3CO2H and C2H4O2. Carbolic acid is one of the functional groups for vinegar. The structural formula looks like for vinegar, and this over here shows the carboxyl group in the carbolic acid. And we have over here the carboxyl group for acidic acid. So now I'm gonna be talking about the production of the compound vinegar. Vinegar may seem simple to make, however, there are actually different stages it must go through in order to become vinegar. To create vinegar, you need to have an ethanol solution, in other words, known as alcohol, or any other liquid that has sugar to begin with. Many types of eth ethanol solutions are created through a yeast fermentation. Raw materials that are used in the making of vinegar are fruit juices, or any other solution that contains sugar to create an, the ethanol and bacteria. Fruit juices have an adequate amount of yeast nutrients that will support yeast growth, so fruit juices are commonly used and fermented by yeast enzymes, which then turn the fruit juices into ethanol. Once the, an ethanol substance is present, such as wine, a bacteria called Acetobacter ox oxidize ethanol to acidic acid to create the product such as grape vinegar. This is the reason why bottles of alcohol that isn't properly sealed turns into vinegar. Over time, due to the alcohol being affected by the Acetobacter bacteria, which furthers then oxidize it to vinegar. During the making of vinegar, there are three known methods, which are the ocean, the Orleans method, the tricking, quick process, and the submerged fermentation method. Although those are the main methods known, vinegar could also be created differently depending on the time period taking place and the location. This is one of the more vintage methods of creating high quality vinegar. This involves the fermentation of vinegar inside casks that has holes drilled into it, allowing the oxygen inside. These holes also have a screen filter that prevent any insect or bugs from entering the casks, which will disturb the production. Oxygen, oxygen is necessary for the production of vinegar due to the fact that the bacteria that turns the solution into vinegar requires oxygen. To create the vinegar, alcoholic liquid is poured into the cast, and then about 20% of fresh vinegar is poured into the cast to begin the fermentation process. Once an acetobacter bacteria oxidizes the acidic acid, of the vinegar is now finished. There is a plug on the cast to collect the finished vinegar and also a tube to add more substance without destroying the film of vinegar bacteria. The tricking quick process. This method of producing vinegar involves spraying the alcoholic substrate in the top layer of the fermentation chamber, where it is filled with materials that carry a slime made acidic bacteria so that the bacteria would could react with the substrate and create vinegar. Due to the heat that is made during the fermentation of vinegar, air is forced through the chamber to keep it cool. The, vig the vinegar 
is recirculated to two, three times until the desired concentration of vinegar is achieved. Once the vinegar is achieved, it is then collected from the collection chamber. The submerged fermentation. This method is more modern, faster, and more efficient for creating vinegar. It is mainly used in industrial businesses where the needed equipment is present. In this method, a high-speed motor breaks down the air that is brought down from the stainless steel tank into tiny bubbles and is forced into the solution of alcoholic liquid and the bacteria for even faster oxi oxidation. The final steps are filtration and pas pasteurization of the vinegar to stop any more bacteria growth and enzyme actions. This process usually takes one to two days to process, which is why this method is mainly used by big industries. Why I believe that uh, vinegar has a great impact on their society? Well, one of them being our health benefits. The most convincing application for vinegar is helping to treat type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is characterized by high blood sugar levels caused by insulin resistance. Insulin resistance or the inability to produce insulin. However, people without diabetes can also benefit from keeping their blood sugar levels to a normal range. As uh, many researchers believe that high blood sugar levels are a major cause for aging and various chronic diseases. So the effective and healthiest way to regulate blood sugar levels is to avoid refined carbs and sugar, but apple cider vinegar may also have a benefit effect. Researchers suggest that vinegar offers uh, the following benefits for blood sugar and insulin levels. Study suggests that vinegar may improve insulin sensitivity by 19 to 34 percent during a high carb meal and significantly lower blood sugar levels and insulin response. Another small study in people with diabetes reported that consuming two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar before bedtime reduced fast fasting blood by 4% the following morning. And a bunch of studies in humans show that vinegar can improve insulin function and lower blood sugar levels after meals. Next, we're going to get into my next reason why uh, vinegar has a benefit to society. So vinegar can actually be used for preservation. It can be preserved for a long period of time. So according to the National Center of Complementary and Interrogative Health, they talk about how vinegar is used in all sorts of food preservation methods. It has a few key properties that make it ideal at slowing or stopping food from spoiling for long periods. It's primarily, primarily the pH or acidity of vinegar that inhibits bacterial growth, and this process is most commonly called pickling. The primary causes of food spoilage are microorganisms, bacteria, yeast, or mold. These can be harmful if you eat food tainted with them. These are called pathogens. Others aren't harmful, but it will break down the food and make it undesirable to eat. To preserve food, we want to inhibit or stop the growth of microorganisms that will shorten the lifespan of food. Cold temperatures inhibit their growth this is why we store food prone to spoiling in the refrigerator or freezer. Acidic environments also inhibit or stop microorganisms from growing or surviving. By submerging foods into an acidic environment, like vinegar, we can stop bacteria or yeast from growing on the food and effectively make it safe to eat for much longer t periods of time, up to months or years in many cases. Vinegar is also a cheaper alternative option for cleaning. White vinegar has a variety of practical household applications. Because white vinegar has an antimicrobial properties, it is a useful disinfectant and cleaner for a myriad of surfaces and 
appliances. What's more, it's significantly cheaper than other commercially available household cleaning agents. Items that can be easily cleaned with white vinegar include countertops, showers and bathtubs, toilets, floors, dishes, windows, and mirrors. So white vinegar also has a gardening application. It can be used for killing weeds and can help cut flowers to stay fresh longer. It is clear that vinegar has a lot of benefits to, so to our society. It's known to reduce our blood pressure. There are many different types of vinegars. There are white and dark or made out of rice. Either way, they preserve our food and when we ingest them, they are good for our health. But if you don't eat them, they're s then they're still useful. Pour some into a cup, but don't drink it. Add water to dilute it. And suddenly you have a solution to spray on top of your countertops, surfaces, floors, and objects to clean away dirt and germs. Do you know any other benefits? Look around your home. Chances are that you will have some vinegar around. If society were to continue without vinegar, I would say they lose all the vinegar b benefits, which um, has, I think, to be honest, a great impact. Well, because vinegar is used to preserve food, but much more longer than uh, regular refrigerators or freezers, as well as uh, the health benefits to lowering down your uh, high sugar levels, blood sugar levels. And I think cleaning with uh, vinegar is a much cheaper alternative, but I guess it's another way of cleaning your house.